In this question, we are given a square A, B, C, D. Now remember in the previous video, we were introduced to a square and we said that a square is a parallelogram that has all four sides equal in length and all corner angles are 90 degrees. It's sort of like a mixture between a rectangle and a rhombus. The first question asks us to determine F1. And now F1 is an angle and so we should actually have a little arrow over there. And so that's this angle over here. So if we had to zoom into this triangle, we could say the following. We know that D2 is 45 degrees. Why? Because we said that when you have a square, each corner angle is 90 degrees and the diagonals cut those exactly in half. And so that'll be 45 and 45. So we can say that D2 is equal to 45 degrees. We can say that that's because the diagonals of a square bisect the corner angles. And then we can easily find F1 because we know that in that triangle all angles should add up to 180. So we can say that angle F1 should be equal to 180 minus D2 which we said is 45 minus the 40 degrees. And the reason for that, I'll add that down here, is because of the sum of angles in a triangle. And so if you had to go work that out, you would end up with a value of 95 degrees. And the next question asks us if line GC is parallel to line EF. Well, they definitely look like they're parallel, but teachers will often do that just to confuse you, because remember many times the drawings aren't done according to scale. So what we know is that this angle over here is, and that's angle CGD. Angle CGD is equal to 90 degrees, because the diags, or the diagonals, of a square bisect at 90 degrees, so we can show it like that perpendicular, right? When two lines are perpendicular, then it's 90 degrees. So the diags of a square bisect at 90 degrees. And so if we had to isolate this part over here, it would look like this, where we've got this as 90 degrees and we've got this as 95 degrees. Now, if these lines were parallel, these would have to be the same. Why? Due to corresponding angles. Because remember, if you have parallel lines, then we've got the three letters fun. And if we looked at the F a little closer, so let me actually write that a bit bigger for us. We know that with the F, these angles have to be the same, but that isn't happening over here. We can see that these two angles are different. And so because F1 is 95 and G is 90, we can say therefore GC is not parallel to EF. 